There's a lot of concern in Abaco about the likes of Frankie Florida. And there's many reasons to be that way. Um, I got a lot of friends of Haitian background. Some of them grew up with me. And I don't consider them less than any Bahamians. They have every right that I have once they have that blue passport. I don't go on the into Haiti. I dare not go to Haiti and speak down on Haitians. When I speak, I speak for the empowerment, the betterment of Bahamians in this country. That means everybody that has a Bahamian passport has as much rights as Kai do under the Constitution. But when you squander that rights, like Frankie does, and try to put Bahamians against people that have Bahamian passport of Haitian descent. I met Frankie in 2019, my first time running. And there's a lot of people that are concerned what happened between Frankie and I. Frankie just is a thief. He's a raw bone thief. I give Frankie $2,000 to go pick up some posters for me. Paid his hair fare for $500. Um, he borrowed $500. That's the biggest money I spent in my first time as an independent candidate. Frankie's job was to go on the plane. I already secured the posters. I know what they look like. All he had to do is pay and come back on the last plane. Four days later, I didn't see Frankie. I went into my barber at the time, Jeff. And he educated me on Frankie. Don't mind them. Them Haitian behemoths know who Frankie are. You can't control them. They're smarter than him. So I'm talking about Frankie in the barber shop. I said, um, Jeff, you seen Frankie? Um, Frankie had $3,000 for me, and I haven't seen him in four days. He said, oh, Frankie already back. I said, Frankie can't be back, and I haven't seen him. You say, Frankie, flipping your money. Never heard the word before. I don't even know it exists. I don't roll in those circuits. I said, what do you mean he's flipping my money? So the $3,000 that you give Frankie, Frankie went and buy stuff for himself and hoping to sell that money, sell the product that he bought, and then he'll go back and get your stuff. <laughs> that was a sad day. First time I'm being hit. And guess what? A decade later... I haven't got a dollar for Frankie. My mother said, Kai, let it go. Leave Frankie Florida in Jesus Christ's almighty name. I listen to my mother, but every time I hear Frankie get up and speak, I remember that Frankie holds a bill of $3,000 to Kai Mills. I'm not gonna waste time going to magistrate court. I don't have a good record there. Frankie has a good record there. I see cases that Frankie, the magistrate marshal is holding Frankie's passport as a part of his bail condition. He can't leave the Bahamas. And Frankie would come in the magistrate court, Kai present, I said, magistrate, I need to make a trip. Um, I need that passport. Um, Frankie, when are you going? When are you coming back? He said, I just came with a little trip. I come right back. And she would pass Frankie the passport. I never seen nothing like that in all my Jesus days. And Frankie continued to do what he do. Frankie was at one time acting as owner of Radio Abaco. I saw people used to come there to do advertisement. Uh, Frankie would tell them to put the, chink, the check in Frankie Florida name. He hit Radio Abaco. For thousand, he hit the airline there for ten thousand. Work at the airline as the agent. Uh, they had him in court. Ten thousand, he hit the airline. He 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 hit two preachers. <laughs> they they got God in them, and he hit two of them. 
the one that owned the radio station, he hit him a thousand. Um, he was renting a host, another preacher. Um, the preacher paid the first and second month eighteen hundred dollars, and he went to Nassau to get his other stuff. When he came back, Frankie already changed the lock, and somebody else is staying in the place. That was a hard blow, hard blow for the man of God. I tell him, Jesus don't live in you because Frankie gonna hit you. Jesus should have showed you that Frankie was a crook. But he did the same thing with Radio Abaco, not a preacher. <laughs> Frankie had him like a goose, putting checks, not in Radio Abaco name, but in Frankie Florida's name. And that's the, the legacy that Frankie has left behind. Frankie got out of Abaco. I know all the business. I'm there. I watched him the last time he was in Abaco. He took $2,000, $3,000 for some Haitian boys. Again, they had his passport hold a securance. I watched Frankie right there at the zone where the police pick him up. That's where he used to hang out. And the fellow wasn't watching. Frankie knows that the Haitian boy car can't lock. So Frankie went into the car, went into the glove compartment, got the passport, and headed to the airport. Mind Frankie was just out of court. He was half an hour of court for threats of harm that Deanso Cash watered down from threats of death. So this is a boy that cannot run like this in Nassau. He cannot run like this in the United States. He cannot run like this in Elutra. He could only do these things in Abaco. We're talking about over forty thousand dollars that this boy has hit people, companies that he worked with. Didn't spend one day in jail, and now he's belittling Behemoth. He's the type of person that should be quiet, quiet. It reminds me of um, one of them politicians in Nassau that got thirty million or more from the government. And he's always hitting out against the government. But you owe 30 million. You ain't pay one million dollar back yet. You should be the last to speak. Got the same attitude like Frankie. Believe he's the smartest apple in the bag. So I just let you know a little bit of, of who Frankie is in Abaco. And he come from smart people. Frankie got two doctors in his family. He have two brothers that are came from Elutra through Abaco and you know what the brother said to me he say unlike Frankie I was shocked to hear it that I am a Florida and I am grateful to the Bahamas because the Bahamas was the bridge that got me to go to America to get my doctor's degree so everybody is not like Frankie Frankie's type of person he's approachable he's a talker but he's a thief and he's a crook period and my name is kai mills frankie florida and i glad to see that your brothers is not like you i hope that your kids don't be like you because they wouldn't get away with what you have done to abaconians and abaco and the bahamas and not a appreciative of you being able to travel back and forth on a bohemian passport. I am one of those that if a petition come up to revoke your citizenship, we ain't gonna send you to America. We can send you back in Haiti and don't ever come back to the Bahamas in your life, not even for a visit. That is the Bahamas government, what I like to see to move swiftly on revoking, frankly, Florida's citizenship because Kai cares.